Hey folks, how's it going? It's been a while since I made a video, so I thought I'd come in and just give you a wee update. I'm sitting just now at Garnock Community Campus on the mainland. I'm over with my daughter, she's got band practice this afternoon. So I had to bring her and her, her friend over, which gave me half twelve till four to sit around and I didn't know where to go. I thought maybe I'd go for a walk or take some pictures. And uh, I've decided instead just to sit at this bench because it's a beautiful day. And this is the kind of day I can fully get behind. I just sit and got myself a cup of coffee from the cafe. And I'm just sitting in the sun reading, which is one of my favorite things to do. I've just finished this one, which I bought at Waterstones a month ago when I took my daughter to buy her new computer for her birthday. And Waterstones had it in their book of the month section. It was really well written, explaining capitalism and economics in a way that I was able to follow and understand. And it's a strange thing, I mean, I'm not, I'm not daft. I've got some education behind me. I just struggle with economics and currency supply and all that sort of thing. So that's been really good. Had a cup of tea and a BLT and just sat and read that. Highly recommend it. And now I'm gonna go into one of my all time favourite books, The Master and Margarita, which I've read a few times. I should probably read it in Russian, but that's too much effort. I've never done that, maybe one day I will. I do have it in Russian, but as I say, it's just a lot of effort. <laughs> Look at the bookmark. Look at this. This is a drawing that I did of a horse and cart that used to be at my grand's house. My mum's mum. She had that on her mantelpiece and I must have drawn that when I was five or six. That's just a guess, but I would guess around then anyway. <laughs> it turned up when I was cleaning out my mum's stuff when, when she died in 2016. I found that in amongst her photos and stuff, so I've got that as a bookmark. I did actually have a Polaroid in here of my daughter as well, but I've given that to her. But here's one I do have. Also inside is a picture of my mum in a wheelchair with her little Yorkie, Yorkshire Terrier. And one of me and Freya. That was the day that I was flying to America to go and get my Kim Walker guitar. And on the same day, me and Hamish so these are in the dust jacket of this book, so it's always nice to pick it up and find these photos nestled in the back. Uh, oh, hang on, hang on. I do have a Polaroid of Freya. That's the second one. I took another one of, of me and her together, and that was in this book as well. So. Master Margarita is a, it's a fantastic book. 19th century Russian literature something I particularly enjoy. What else have I been doing? I haven't been keeping up to date with my teaching diary. I need to get that back on track again. I've had my last day of teaching. That was last week and the tutor's now back, the guy that I was filling in for. So I sat down with him yesterday for an hour, had a cup of tea and talked through all the notes that I'd made just to get him up to speed with what I'd been doing. Five weeks that lasted and it was fantastic. Such a great opportunity. I talked with my daughter this morning about maybe doing a Patreon page to start teaching online, uh, building it up slowly, slowly, having my daughter be my my content producer, which she's quite up for. Uh, I think it could be a great opportunity and I want to grasp the opportunity rather than the fear, you know what I mean? I think I'm, I'm a good teacher, I know that much, but, and I also know that there's an abundance of guitar teachers already doing this kind of thing, but I'm of the mindset that it's abundant, not scarce. So I'm free to do as I want and follow my passion. 
So that's what I intend to do. I did buy an electric guitar. Uh, the reason you haven't seen it yet is because they sent me the wrong guitar. Yeah, it's mediocre. I bought a Gretsch White Falcon for a pretty good price actually and they sent me the, the wrong version of the guitar so that got picked up again yesterday to be sent back to the, the retailer and have them send the correct one. But watch this space, you'll love it when you see it. The one that I did have, I played it for a little while and oh, gorgeous, gorgeous guitar. So I'm really excited about my, my future, which is, is so nice to be able to say. Uh, we've been decorating the house, we just moved my daughter into the bigger room. So my son's going into what was her old room, which is bigger than the room he's now in which means there's a chance I may get his old room back again as my man cave, which is what it used to be when we first moved in. So that's exciting. We'll see. Anyway, I'll say cheerio for now and talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching.